Good morning. Christopher Novusman. Um I'm obviously opposed to this. I mean, to uh, criminalize someone. To criminalize someone for just not having funds for a home for any reason, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me. I do like the fact that you're wanting to look into maybe uh, rewriting the law. The problem I do see with it is um, you're wanting to involve police still. And in one way or fashion, you're not being clear on what you want to do with that, and you're obviously still thinking about it. Uh, what I think that needs to be realized here is, yes, we need them off the street. Yes, uh, as politicians, there we need to look in at our constituents, people that contribute. We need to stand up for the people that's around us, supporting us, and doing whatever. Uh, corrections corporations of America pay the most amount of money to any Hawaii politician to Ikaika Anderson. Well, people want people off the street. Somebody that wants to give. $8,000 more than even the governor of Hawaii a certain amount of funds to do a certain job well we could do we could kill you know two birds with one stone and get them off the street and throw them in jail make profit and we're all happy except we didn't do the right thing can you summarize Mr. Smith a summary is we can't be criminalizing people for profit okay or political gain okay thank you thank you